So, outside of uh, our adventures, you guys want to get on this NFL topic? Yes. Yeah, Yo, so much to unpack. NFL offseason, free agency, trades, draft, a lot has been going on. I think the biggest move to me is Tom Brady coming back, obviously. True. Oh, man, that nigga fucked y'all up. And then number two, I would say Deshaun Watson getting traded to the Browns. True. And then number three, I would go with Von Miller to the to the Bills. See, I, w- I would switch out Vaughn and I'd put Devontae Adams trade. Just because Aaron re-upped all this. Like, I'm really, at this point, I feel like Aaron Rodgers is playing the game strictly for money and just the bitches at this point. Because, yeah. like, he came back to Green Bay just so his top target could leave. And like, he got four years. He good. He rich now. But y'all don't have no receivers, bro. And y'all wasn't great in the first place. Like, y'all needed Devontae. Every game. Every game. Like, y'all didn't really have a number two or three. Yeah. Like, Scantley and the other guy. Yeah, like, they was they weren't, but they, they weren't really good. Game. Yeah, they weren't, like, real number two. It's going to take four niggas to do what Devontae did. And then and everybody else gets anyways with Devontae. Up. Four. You mean, you mean two tight ends and hopefully a, a one or two? Because Tunyon tore his ACL, so he's coming back off of ACL injury. Yeah. They ain't haven't re-signed him. Mm-hmm. Yo, I think the Packers are really going down. He I think a, They're going to be upset. This year. And Darius Smith, they ain't have enough money for him. He left. Yeah, and then he came to my Ravens, and then immediately was like, nah, "I'm out." Money. Nope. Pat the back, back up. Terrible. Yo, that um, that Devontae Adams move is pretty big. It's beyond big. It's, bro. It was funny for me just because I was like, Devontae Loki getting like everything he wanted, which I didn't, I thought he was gonna stay honestly, but he go he going back to because him and Derek Carr he's playing college together, right? So he got his college quarterback back. You're in Vegas now. You're not in Wisconsin. So mm-hmm. Devontae in the, in the silver and black. So he about to turn up this year. And you got a running game mm-hmm. with Jacobs, kind of like how you had, uh, you know, with Jones, right? Yeah. And, and a one, defense bolster, too. And one thing that I feel like they have that they didn't have in Green Bay was, okay, Devontae Adams was the whole offense as far as vertical threats. Like, it was nobody right. else that they had to double or actually key on. Now you have uh, Darren Waller in the middle while you have Adams yeah. eating up. Everything else, I just don't know who the other receivers are going to be to fill out that roster because, you know, rugs kill people. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. Bruh, bro, bro, it's not even 530. I'm not, it doesn't, you know. He, he had, you know, murderers had to be eradicated from the team. Um, Damn. So that they, happened. They got Renfro still. <laughs> Renfro, that's who they have. Yeah, Hunter Renfro. He had, like, over 103 catches. Thousand yards, yeah. Winfrey with the route runner, he got so he got. So they actually do, yeah. Honestly, because Winfrey yeah. was their number one, and he put up number one numbers. So now you got, yeah, like you said, you got him and Adams and Waller yeah, with right. Jacobs in the backfield. That's now true. I feel like the pressure on Derek Carr about, like, okay, are yeah, you elite? He got to turn up. I feel like he can be the AFC's Matthew Stafford. And that's how I'm, and this is a little bit off topic, but that's how when Carson Wentz went to the Colts, like that's what I thought he had. One of the Colts, because he had, like, I mean, T.Y. a little older and everything. He had T.Y., they had a good line, they had a good running game. Derek Carr, now he, I think he had, Carr probably has better targets, though, because Devontae's way better than what T.Y. is. And they got the tight end, because I forgot about Darren Waller. Like, that's a different story right there. Right. The beast. So, he, I mean, I feel like Derek Carr, go, he's, I think he's better than, than Wentz is, so he going to turn up. I think he going to get, he going to get it. And, and, I, and I feel like Carr falls to that category with Stafford, like, you're not elite. But you're not a bum. Right. Like, you're not a game manager. You can go out there and win the game if you got the yeah. weapons. You know what you I'm saying? You ain't elevated quite yet to that status, but we you can. But it's because but I think it's more because they've been on the Lions and Raiders more than like yeah, they're not sure. that guy. Because I feel like yo, Joe Flacco really wasn't that guy. He was just on the Ravens. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I, I'm saying? And as a Ravens fan, I had to come to terms with that because I realized I this man say, never made a Pro Bowl. He's a serviceable quarterback. Never made a Pro Bowl. I don't think he ever threw for 30 touchdowns. Didn't need to. Nah. I think the most he had was, I want to say 24, and that's me being nice, but I really think it's 21. Look, so he never he never was defense. elite. He just had the defense around him, and he just made the plays when it was necessary. That was Playoffs, it. for example. <laughs> and um, I like what the Chargers did with J.C. Jackson. That whole defense going to be They got nasty. Max. Yeah, they – they really made some uh, some power moves. The AFC West, it, everybody was saying the NFC West was the biggest, the best division for like a few years. Mm. Now it's the AFC West. AFC, and, I think that's like that's like not even like it's not even a question. Mm-hmm. AFC literally like both like the Chargers defense and the Raiders defense is gonna be top notch this year. Like you got pass you rush, got man. Honestly, you can make a case to say the Chiefs are like the fourth best team in their division. They could be on paper. They because be paper, yeah. you look at the Raiders, Broncos, and Chargers, right. they all got 
offense and defense. Yep. The Chiefs got offense and questions. Yeah, for real, because they just lost Ty. Is Ty still there? Or did he go to Ra- Raiders? Uh, you talking about uh, Tyran? Yeah, Tyran Matthews. Nah, he ain't he ain't signed yet. I don't think. Okay, he ain't yeah, yeah. nobody yet. He I was gonna to say because because he was talking about going to the Raiders. If he's still nah, he's Raiders, still out. Uh, Chadarius Ward. I I said this the other day. Uh, somebody I don't think they heard him, but Chadarius Ward, their cornerback, went to the 49ers. So they mm. lost a cornerback and a safety. Yeah, so mm-hmm. on that back then. But they signed was it Justin Reed? The, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Reed. was a nice that was a nice pickup. Texas yeah, got right, right. No, nah, Texans are Texans love everything. Texans are going to fight for the number one pick next year. Straight what? up, they have to. They don't have anything. They don't even have a quarterback. They don't have any wide receiver. Oh, no, they still have Brandon Cooks, but that ain't make no fucking difference. I thought I thought the Browns would at least when they traded for uh, Amari. No, uh, when they traded for Deshaun, I thought mm-hmm. that they would at least uh, send Baker or something in a deal because the Texans don't have nothing right now. I was thinking the same thing. I thought Baker was going to be like in that deal, but I guess not. He requested his trade. And he, he he got what he wanted. Now he he better go wherever the fuck they want his own. Right. At this point. Now my thing I'm talking about though is Carson Wentz is starting to give me that Sam Bradford kind of vibes. Yeah. He always has. So, I wanted to believe in him. I was hey, like, if he didn't I do want it, to so bad. I like that Marcus Williams pickup from the Saints that he went to the Ravens. I like that. I really wish y'all would get Zendaria Smith though. I was hoping we would. He was, was there. Fine. He was, and then all of a sudden they backed out. But he, Marcus he, Williams looks like a Raven though. Like we mm-hmm. got our secondary if. Healthy, our secondary is right back to where we were. And what do you think about Allen Robinson to the Rams, Rams. With Cooper Cup? And they still got money for Odell. And I forgot that Robert Woods is still on the team. So you got if Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson, route running all day. If Odell, hypothetically Odell comes back, and they still got Robert Woods and Van Jefferson, they got a lot of people to feed in the house, which is not a bad thing. It just depends on how they want their receiving. Corner. I don't know how many but, cornerbacks you have for that. Yeah, but see what I'm saying. But outside of Van Jefferson, because I think Van's the only one that's over six two. He Allen's really now the big, you know. Yeah, Allen's like six three. Allen's Cooper Cup six two. two. Odell's like six foot six one. Right. So now they have more of like you know, they can do like a five wide down yeah, there. Yeah, they got a lot of technicians though, on that receiver. Man, they just fucked a lot. And of now they got there. Stafford uh, re up the. The Rams, they did some wild stuff, but this started to pay off for them. Hey, listen, they're playing, you know, they're paying that money. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pull up that website now that my phone's charged so I can see what their cap's looking like. Because the last time I was talking about that, they were spending a whole bunch of money. And what do you guys think of the Jaguars moves? Uh, Shaq Khan spend that money. Keep it going. He's That's, doing what he's got to do. Hey, yeah, listen, fam. Like, I love you, brother. I love my Jags. Do all till we die. He got a franchise QB. He's trying to make some moves, y'all, which is not a bad thing. He overpaid, which, of course, like I was talking to somebody on Twitter. I was like, you're the Jaguars. You're going to have to overpay. Listen, you coming to Florida. You gonna like, you gonna have, they're going to have to overpay for that. Hey, real quick, I like the Trubisky move to the Steelers until the Browns got Watson. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, yo, yeah, Trubisky's good for, like, a trash division. Like, put him in the AFC, like, East or something. But yeah. you got Deshaun with Amari Cooper. You got... Joe Burrow with Chase, and you got Lamar Jackson. Mark Andrews. Like, who are you going against? Like, how are you going to, okay, we got the ball now. Like, you don't even have. Yeah, the, like, the Trubisky one, I was, unless, unless they're going for someone in the draft, but there really ain't nobody in the draft this year that, like, is, like, you know, stand out. So, mm-hmm. like, if, Trubis- if Trubisky's a bridge guy, they're going to have a rough year as far as going against these teams. Really rough. You about to say something? Oh, no, I found it. The Rams are $17 million, um over the cap. Damn. And they didn't really uh, sign a pass rusher to uh, to replace Von Miller. Yeah, I was. I thought somebody did, but I, I looked somewhere else. I gotta look that. I up. thought Von Miller was gonna go to the Cowboys. To be honest, same. I thought he was going back to the Rams. They made a push, but the yeah, deal like, that the Bills that. really made. They said that, you know, the the Rams offered him a pretty good deal, but I think Von Miller has that sense of like the Rams got theirs. Yeah. I don't want to really be a part of like. The downside of this. Am I so saying, let me just go to a new team. Am I, I think right? Charles what? Charles Haley didn't he get one? Win? Charles Haley won five Super Bowls. He won three with the um, 49ers, and then he won two Cowboys. with the Cowboys. With the yeah. Cowboys. I'm starting at, like Vaughn. If he after this, you know, Bill situation, if they win one, that's when you know, like, hey, listen, he now has a full Hall of Fame first ballot, no question. You got the sacks to line it up. You got. The Super Bowls to back it up. You got the Pro Bowls. Like, you've hardly ever been really injured outside of the, I think it was his, was his rookie year. 
No, no, wait. What year was it? Black Bottom so hurt. He like two. Oh, two years ago, Von Miller. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying in the beginning of his career, but then he had like a. Nah, he wasn't really hurt beginning of his career. Like, oh, okay, so never mind. He's sacks pretty much his whole career, honestly. Right, so, you know what I'm saying? I look at him being like, he's one of those of our generation, first ballot Hall of Famous, you know, that we got to see his whole career. Yeah. Yo, you know, I'd say the biggest losers to me in free agency was the Cowboys. Oh, yeah. I don't see how you get Michael Gallup. Like, you want to pay Michael Gallup, but you don't want to pay Amari Cooper. I don't understand. That Michael Gallup is unproven to me. Like, yeah, he hasn't made a Pro Bowl. I don't think he ever had a thousand yard receiver. I don't think so. I never hundred catches. Like I think DJ Shark is better than Michael Gallup. I think we should fire the GM at the Cowboys. You can't fire the owner. Well, that's the reason why that team. That's where they need to go, here. honestly. But I'm just thinking. I'm like, damn, they need to go ahead and get Tyran Matthew or something. They need. They've needed a safety for years, bro. This is like the fifth or sixth year the Cowboys have needed a safety. And then they draft all them safeties. And they get everything else but that. You know? It's like you lost a pass rusher. Mm-hmm. You lost. What's the other receiver went to the uh, the Dolphins? They had Cedric Wilson. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I just don't believe CD Lamb and Michael Gallup are going to be. Because CD Lamb hasn't been super consistent. You, I read somewhere that CD Lamb was he got fined I think every game, just for minor infractions, just like for uniform stuff because he didn't want to change his uniform. Yeah, yeah. So to me, CD Lamb is good, but he might he might end up like a Boo Schuster. Yeah. He hyped, but like when now that he's number one, he that's what I'm saying, bro. And I don't like listen. The, the biggest move I hate the most is Boo Boo shit Schuster going to the damn Chiefs, Chiefs dude. Because now it's gonna be him and Jackson Mahomes doing bitch ass oh, TikToks I saw that. in the locker room oh, and, oh, and post game and pre game, bro. Fuck you know damn you. well, bro. Like we're gonna see something. It's gonna be the off season. Oh, They're yeah. gonna be. Both doing a TikTok in training camp, and I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I hate these niggas, bro." <laughs> Yo, Patrick Mahomes' family single handedly makes me root against the Chiefs. Like in the AFC hey, Championship game, straight up. The only reason I want the Bengals links, I'm like, do I really want to see Jackson Mahomes TikToks I, for the next two weeks? Nah, but I knew go when Cincinnati. They lost, when man. they lost, Jackson I was Mahomes. like, "Hey, nigga, where the fuck them TikToks at?" That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, everybody was like, "Where are you at on TikTok? Where you man? at, my guy? Yo. Why you hiding now?" <laughs> that man, that man is special. That's Beyond special, that man is special.